Space. My name is Anna Laney and I'm the Director of Artistic Programs and today we're going to take a quick look at the exhibition Forgetting is Easy and Remembering is What Hurts. This is a two-person show that features two Raleigh-based artists, uh, Pete Sack, who you can see directly behind me, and Tim Litmanenko. Uh, these two artists are working in different media, um, obviously in very different scales, but they're both exploring the idea of portrait um, as a means of understanding human experience and in particular um, the idea of memory um, as it ties to our emotional lives. Artist Tim Levinenko actually is using a photographic process to create these monumentally sized uh, portraits. In this case, uh, self-portraits and, and what you see behind me is a, a pair of images and, and we've intentionally hung Tim's work uh, throughout the space in pairs uh, to sort of heighten both the viewer's ability to understand the artist's process but also to heighten uh, the effect of the distortion that's happening in the figures so as you can see these are very um, realistic likenesses of a, a male torso, uh, excuse me, not torso, uh, head, neck up. Um, he has long hair and this image on my left, uh, an open mouth, closed eyes, it, almost as if he's in the midst of, of a screen. Um, and what the artist has done is used a photographic transfer process uh, where the image itself is um, manipulated digitally to heighten particular colors of ink, um, for example, to create um, a pleasing, pleasing palette. Uh, you can actually see shades of blue, pink, orange, red, even some green um, comes through in, in the ink. And then once the image has been manipulated to the artist's liking, it's printed on a um, transparency that is then transferred onto a gel medium on this canvas background and the artist then um, moves the ink around using his hands and various tools um, to create these areas of distortion and movement and so what what happens is twofold one there's this beautiful dance that exists uh, between the artist um, exercising control um, on the surface of the work, but also relinquishing control, because there's certain things when um, working with a transfer process that, that you don't know what the outcome will be necessarily. Um, but then in addition to that, uh, the resulting um, image, which started as a, a very clear photographic likeness, is, is distorted in such a way that it imbues this already uh, emotional stance, um, active expression of the subject um, even more. So there's a sense of, of movement. And in this image, I, I get both, um, both a sort of sense of joy and elation from the figure, um, but it also maybe perhaps uh, for other viewers is, is something that's um, more has to do with, with pain, but in, in any instance, it's a very sort of emotive, expressive uh, image that's only heightened by the artist process. So where Tim Beninko is using a photographic process and manipulating it to, to sort of start to play with the boundary between photography and paint, Pete Sack is, is uh, utilizing his skills as a naturalistic painter along with elements of collage um, and um, reductive painting techniques um, to, to create a somewhat similar effect to, to Tim in which the emotional um, response of the viewer and this impulse to perhaps um, imagine a narrative uh, in, the, in the imagery is very much heightened by the, the artist's choices and process. 
So in um, this image, which is titled Thought Patterns Filled Up With no Noise, um, Pete has used the model who you'll see again throughout the exhibition. Uh, it's a, like Tim's work, um, just a, a bust um, of, of this young woman. Uh, you see the shoulders to the top of her head. Um, she's looking off towards towards the right, um, off of the picture plane, so we don't know what, what has her gaze. Um, and uh, her very sort of short, blonde, blunt haircut, he's, he's given this real um, intense uh, use of the color yellow um, to sort of uh, heighten the contrast here between the, the sort of yellows and, and then you have the sort of blue-green of the background, um, almost creating this sort of vibration of, of color. Um, in addition, you'll see in the background of this image and, and many others um, on view in the show, the inclusion of this geometric graphic pattern. Um, in this case, you see um, lines uh, that are, are sort of creating curvatures um, in, in the space. And the face, which is very naturalistically rendered, and, and Pete Sachs' process starts with a watercolor painting, underpainting, um, that is, is very true to his, his subject. It, it looks like a very traditional portrait. And then he goes in and layers on top of that with either oil paints or acrylics, as is the case here. Um, and so you can see glimpses such as the eyebrows and eyelashes of that very um, carefully rendered face, yet um, he's scraping the paint in different directions to, to distort the image. And again, like I I'd said, that, that idea of, of sort of distortion in this show and with the subject of portraiture in particular really for the viewer, I think, takes us um, into a very personal place. It, it starts to bring up ideas of how time and space and memory um, affect our, our feelings and, um, and rec recollections of, of people that we encounter. Thank you for listening to my musings on this fantastic exhibition. I hope you have an opportunity to come to Art Space so that you can see the show in person and that you'll share your thoughts uh, with us about your, your interaction with, with the work on view. Art Space is currently open to the public on Fridays and Saturdays from 11 to 5 p.m. and we are taking appointments um, throughout the week um, if those times don't work for you. Um, when you come, be sure to pick up the brochure. There's an essay as well as um, additional information about both of these amazingly talented artists. Um, this is also accessible on our website under our current exhibitions page. Um, finally, look out for a few programs coming up over the course of this exhibition. I will be conducting a interview with Tim Litvinenko, um, and the artists will both be giving a um, tour of the exhibition um, that we will be pushing out through Instagram and Facebook in April. So I hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next time.